Just heading into Peter Stamaton's place. You here to tell me about infections? Sandpest chokes the district. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Talking about immunity. No need to explain further. I gotcha. Thankfully, I have a crap ton of things to give people. You will be perfectly fine, buddy. Probably. Life is a night at the bar. All the wisdom you gain, you pay for in pain. I should have left this godforsaken place two years ago. Get clean and move away for good. But I have no spine. I'm not a real man. Cannot leave her behind. Leave whom behind? The tower. My precious tower. The locals call her the polyhedron, referring to her as it, as if she were inanimate. But for me, she is alive and female and I can't abandon her. I have to gaze upon her again and again to convince myself she exists. So it was you who thought up that thing, Peter Stamaton. I'm considered responsible for her creation, but I'm not God to completely defy gravity. It's happenstance. Such a tower shouldn't be. It breaks the laws of physics, laws of optics as well. Just a coincidence. Such things are never coincidences. Listen, what's your name? Artemy Burah. Why have you come? Prophylaxis. You're in a plagued district. Listen, doctor. You should check on Anna, too. She's a circus artist who lives nearby. She's mysophobic. I'm worried she might lose it completely these days. She's an interesting one. Be a pity if she died or went nuts. I'll check on her. Yeah, so before she got infected and she revealed herself to be a piece of shit, so I kind of just let her die. But this time, I want to keep her alive. I'm just curious. Oh, hello. In Stamaton's place, I just found a little thing to loot. 240 money, some twirin, a little hidden stash, and five empty bottles. That's actually really valuable. Let's drink some. Where are you pointing me to? Up here. Oh, I know what that is. That's the cache up there. Have I not visited that one before? Oh, I haven't. Let's help out, Anna. I think someone told me there's some loot in Anna's place as well that I missed. I think there's some other stuff I missed as well. Like... They have a bunch of... I, are they like, doing circus performances here? Trapeze or whatever stuff? Balancing things? Yeah, it looks like it. Here you go. You'll be fine. Probably. Oh, said the cat. <laughs> it's interesting to see him in this huge coat. Are you that cold? Because I, I think like every time we saw them before, they were infected. What do you want? Don't touch me. Stay away. <sighs> Quiet now. I'm a doctor. Are your hands clean? I'm not going to touch you. Stop yelling. You've touched the doorknob. So what? Microbes are transmitted with touch. They stay on the skin. Evil is transmitted with touch too, and it stays on the skin. Fate is transmitted with touch. All this dirt changes you, killing you slowly. This is so repulsive. Uh... I'm a doctor. Microbes run from me like the devil from a holy flame. I don't want to even think about it. Everyone is prattling about that toxic soot from the factory. It's out there behind the windows, everywhere. All this dirt and grime. It's a punishment, that's what it is. It's all about those damn children. You'll have to trust me if you want to survive this. 
What? I'm a doctor making my rounds. Do as I tell you. There's an epidemic in town. An epidemic? Oh god, an epidemic. What? Plague? All my fault. My punishment. What kind of crime could condemn an entire town along with you? Are you a real medic? You really can help me. So I wouldn't... Just don't touch me. A real one, trust me. Did I ever go back here before? There's so much interesting stuff back here. Hold on. I want to look at everything. But, you know, time is important, so I just saved. And I guess I'll just load that save game after carefully looking at everything. This is probably where the loot is. Yeah, so many posters everywhere. Pretty much all of them very creepy. <laughs> this is so cool. It is a very strange house, isn't it? What's in there? How oh, tantalizing. What is in there? Cat. A dead bird. I think this is the only area I can go to in the house, right? So many suitcases. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let me load that game and then see what I can loot. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty good stuff. There might have been one other, too. Uh... This one. Oh, can I sleep here? Oh, yeah. Nah, I can't interact with that. Okay, I think that's it. Does it note that I can sleep here? It doesn't? Does anybody know what's up with the icons not reflecting that you can sleep in many places that you can sleep? Like, in Stampotent's Loft, it says I can sleep. In Anna's place, it says I can't, but I can. You just saw the bed. It's right here. Sleep. And it also does the same thing at this place, the still water. It doesn't say I can sleep, but I can upstairs. It's very inconsistent. Let's pay a visit to Andre Stamaton. I think they're just outside of the infected zone. They are, so they don't need a prophylaxis. But still, let's go talk with them. Oh, yeah. The Han came out. What should a man do once his guts have turned to rags? Yes, yes, I know. We're supposed to stay indoors, and the tower's inhabitants do just that. I make sure my people follow the law, but I am Kaspar Kine. Your laws don't apply to me. God, I forgot what a little shit they were in the beginning. I kind of warmed up to them, but they are a little shit. Kaspar Kain, so you're the one they call Han. I've been looking for you. I am Han, son of Victor Kain. You knew my father, Isidore Bura. What business did you have with him? We talked. I was curious what Simon saw in him. Simon? Excuse me, were you born yesterday? Simon Kain, the head of our family, my uncle, 
the immortal man, the one who died two days ago, the one we can't live without. He molded this town into what it is. He kept its spirit aflame. Do you honestly have no idea who he was? It's not like he created all that on his own. No two people in the world had more differences than your father and Simon. They couldn't agree on anything, but got very close. Even though they should have been rivals, maybe even enemies. Like Nokin and I. You don't look like enemies. We're enemies after a fashion. His soul and a halves against my dog heads. But we're negotiating an armistice now. If he lets go of his usual bullheadedness, it might happen. Are you happy now? Can we get back to our business? No, I'm not done yet. Do you know how my father died? No, not yet. I have a hypothesis, but it's too early to tell. I'll have to check. Check what? The hypothesis, the theory, the idea. Was I not sufficiently clear? It needs testing. If Nakin stops playing the fool and sends his soul into halves to search, maybe we can even do it tonight. Ah, Death's house. Right. Yeah, that place was fun. <laughs> Will you take me with you? No, I think you're too old to believe in fairy tales. A skeptic would only get in the way, so I won't even waste time explaining. Maybe Khan and I should bury the hatchet? Fancy meeting you here. Your friend only talks to me through clenched teeth. Perhaps you trust me more? Perhaps I do. You seemed to agree with the way I resolved that issue with uh, Laika, I believe was, his, was the name. Come on, you don't need to convince me. We trust you anyway, don't we, Jester? Jester does, and so do I. You're honest with us. We open our souls to you. Honesty is the key here. All right, what have you here? We need to find an abandoned house. The dogheads, the snobs, only see things from their ivory tower. My soul and a halves know the town inside and out. Abandoned houses, most of all. What kind of house? The house of death. Have you heard the story? The candles, the dawn, the locked door? No. Things like what's happened yesterday and the day before, they never happened. People died, yes, but not like this. Death has come to town. And death is quite a bird. A home bird, to be precise. So when he comes, he stays in an abandoned house. Even death needs a place to rest. So death is a stay-at-home kind of guy, huh? Death comes at midnight. That's when trouble starts. But if someone were to find his house before midnight, then either stay there till dawn or light candles inside, he'd be stalled. Also, you're supposed to become immortal, but I don't believe that last part. All right, let's do it. I'll find the place myself. Let's see if there's any merit to the story. Okay, we'll go there together. Oh, right. I still need to speak with you. Just stay away from me this time of year. Come to think of it, keep your hands off anything here. Came here to have some fun, Sawbones? Plague is a time for feasts. So I hear you're an architect. Sure am. Have you seen the dancing bridge in the capital? Never been there. What a lout. Have you checked up on my brother yet? I have. I took care of him. Great job. Have a drink on me, then. You know I'm not some handyman you have to bribe with booze. Take good care of my brother, Doctor. If I kick the bucket, so be it, but my brother must survive. He's a genius. And you're not? I'm the battering ram that clears his path. Me and him are perfect twins. The local climate is good for twins. What herb are you paying double for today, bartender? 
blood twire. I think I have a lot of that. Not on me, of course. Alright, I want to go to Death's House. That's the only thing left to do in the map, really, at the moment. But my exhaustion is incredibly high, so I should sleep right now. And I should have enough time to sleep and go to Death's House. That shouldn't be a problem at all. So, some morphine. And then... Mm, three hours. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do three hours. Nara. Eat some food too. Yeah, that's good. And I also dumped a lot of stuff, including all of my medicines and tinctures and stuff, into there because I know that there was a lot of stuff to loot at Death's house, and I want to have room for it. Hey? For you, M. Shen, heart, liver, kidneys, they still smell of life. Why would I need these? Make potions, as your father. Cures from grief, poison, envy, aches. He made any cure that he had good, uh, when he had good meat. This is good meat. Take it. Only a man who can cut a body. Is there a man who among you? No, Yargachin. We have broken the law. Those who do not know the lines cannot cut bodies. We will give our lives, mine and Kuse, no others. But why? You do need these, Yargachin. Real potions have meat, Anente. Herbs have borders. Your great father used more than herbs. He made cures from blood and flesh, from those alive. What kind of cures? Any kind. Cures for pain, cures for fever, cures for the inner fire, cures for all three layers of the body. Those who know the lines can cure any disease with guts and herbs. This is how the world works. So it's a universal method. Curious. These are a gift, so you don't risk your life. Don't cut the living unless there is need. Don't cut the dead unless there is need. Even if you're a good menhu, Bodo does not like it. Better we suffer than you. Bayarla, I accept your gift and your sacrifice. Heart, blood, and liver. Did they give me blood twire as well? They must have. I don't think I can brew anything in the Alembic though, right? Because I have to repair it first, still. Yeah. Just need a toolkit. Let's go into Death's house. Mm-hmm. Locks behind me. I think before I loot the place, I should probably just try to do all the candles and kick a death out of here. So let's just do that. And I can't light them beforehand. Oh wait, I thought the kids were here, in this room. Where are they? What makes them come? Oh, they're in this room. Should have kept quiet. A bargain's a bargain. So you're here after all. Who locked us here? Are your friends playing some kind of awful prank? 
Are you stupid? Our friends would never do that. Something strange really is happening. We need to find a way to open that door. So what do we do? Uh, I don't know. I guess we can try lighting candles like in that urban legend of yours. Are you for real? The place will become less gloomy in the light. Okay, let's do it real fast. Ugh, it's gonna wreck my immunity. You need matches to light the candle? Oh, fuck. Okay, we need to do some looting. One match. Oh, my immunity. My poor, poor immunity. Oh, no, no, let's not light that. Do I even have a match to light? I don't think so. Good amount of money, damn. Come on, match, match, match. Ugh, there's one in there to light, but I need a match. Did I loot this place? I think so. Let's go downstairs. Another place to light. Oh, come on. Something just ripped. Matches. Matches. My immunity is super low. Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought, hey, at least I have the tinctures. I ditched them. Uh-oh. Oopsie. Two matches. Oh, death is starting to see me. Let's be quick. Um, are there more? I guess there's, I think there's one more. Do I have another match? I don't, so I need to find the final one and I need to find a match. Do I have anything that can increase immunity? No. I really super don't. My clothes are just ripping. Oh, I think that's the final one. Two matches. Is that it? No, there's one more. Well, forget looting stuff. I gotta find the match. I mean, the, the thing to light. Come on, don't fucking get me infected. I remember I had trouble finding the last one before, too. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't get infected. Whew. Rip my clothes. And now we can loot this place in comfort. What do you want? Time to get the hell away from here, right? Well, you can stay if you wish. Wait, no. Are you serious? Oh, oh god, I thought it was going to take me outside. It just teleports them. Whew. Alright, let's check this place out. I love these big ones because they might have clothes in them.
am I getting it ripped and I have the black thing coming over me? Is that because I'm touching infected things? Like even though the active threat is gone, I, I know they've mentioned opening drawers, you know, can like get on your hands and hurt you a little bit. I think that's what happened. I should be okay though. Probably. actually saving my needles for bigger drawers probably is maybe i should stop opening the small ones anyway let's get the fuck out of here huh Whew. don't know if death really arrived to our town or if it was just a bed of infection what matters is i found it and the place will be quarantined the disease will bite off one district fewer now No marks at all. Free to do whatever I want for the next half hour before I need to go visit the play and then go to the dead item shop. <laughs> um, what did I get? I've got 2,000 coins. I got a lot of money. And just lots of random stuff to trade with. Two bracelets, which I should sell. Those will be worth a pretty good amount. Yeah, mostly just a lot of good trading stuff. It's just about to be midnight, so I'm curious how death is going to roll against these two people. Should be fine. Uh, just dumped off some stuff into my storage compartment here. Got all of my dead items that I'm going to take to the dead item shop. Seven bloody bandages, eight broken ampules. That should buy me a lot, actually. And I'm not going to take the tinctures with me overnight because I don't think there's a point. And I'm kind of hoping I come across a bunch of bad dudes out there that I can kill and take all their loot. I'd like room for all of it, but I'm going to take just a, all my Metro Plus tinctures, just, I don't know, in case I need the immunity or whatnot. So let's start moving out, and let's see how death rolls. Today was a turning point. Fates are decided at midnight. If you want to protect someone, take care of them before nightfall. 343 people infected, 26 people dead. You've managed to protect the crude sprawl from infection. Oh. Not Kim. Did they? They must have gotten infected just because they went with me to the house, right? Because it didn't mark that I needed to uh, try to protect them. Hmm. Well, I do have Schmouter. I should probably do that. I know I can try to treat them with antibiotics, but there's always a small chance they're going to die. And if they get infected this early, there's even more chances for them to die. Time flies faster, Let's go cure them. With each passing day. A day is over and night falls. And in that brief night, something will be irretrievably lost. Oh, right, I'm in an infected district. Uh, let's take these immunity boosters. I traded for them. Wait, what? I can't go in there? Uh. I guess I'll see you later, Notkin. Where did you go if not back home? Well, I was going to say, at least I can cure bad grief, but I guess not. 
Uh, right, because they're waiting for me over here. But unfortunately, I can't cure them or give them any help if they're not at their home for some weird reason. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of forgot we were meeting at midnight here. I guess I'll head over there before the theater, huh? <laughs>